Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Advanced Apple Music. I'm super excited today because we're going to talk about a feature that I feel like is really undersold due to how clunky it is, and that's going to be Apple Music Radio. Now, I absolutely love some of the radio shows on Apple Music, um, but if you've ever messed around with it, you probably ran into the fact that they are such a pain to use. Um, so today I'm going to focus on a couple big issues and how to work around those using some other apps um, that you should already have on your iOS devices. So first off, if you head into Apple Music's radio section right here, you'll be met with the three major live radio stations. You've got Apple Music One, which plays kind of the newest music out there, tends to lean hip-hop and kind of popular music, but um, there's definitely some good alternative shows on there, like the one that's playing right now. Uh, you've got Apple Music Hits. It's going to focus more on classic music, and by classic, pretty much anything you know a few years ago and older. And then Apple Music Country, which is, yeah, I don't think I need to explain that one. If you scroll down a little bit, uh, you can see some of the episodes you recently played. I find this almost useless because there's no way to resume your position or see if you finished it or anything like that. Um, so that's one of my biggest issues, actually, that I'm not able to fix at this point is just the lack of understanding of what you've listened to and what you haven't. So as a result, I tend to use this, you know, every month or so and just kind of listen to some of the most recent stuff. And then below that, we've got um, new episodes. Um, so these are the newest shows that have aired recently. Um, you've got some hosts, uh, artists. These are um, different ways to organize the shows that are out there. Um, and just a lot of those. And if you keep scrolling down, then you can hit the genre stations, which do tend to be pretty good. Uh, I typically prefer my own setup that I have, which is a mix of Apple Music playlists and my own music. Um, but these are some pretty decent Pandora-like like, like radio stations right here. And then finally down here at the bottom, um, you've got TuneIn Radio. Um, so these are kind of actual live radio stations pulling in from outside of Apple Music. So won't have song titles and things like that, but can still be you know something interesting to put on if you don't have another idea at the time. As awesome as these radio shows can be, good lord, are they a pain to keep track of and find. I mean, you can definitely open up the app, click on search, and then search for Strombo or something like that. That's one of the Apple Music hits shows that I like the most. Um, but no one wants to do that. <laughs> you have to open it up, type in some stuff, um, and then do another click. Um, what if you just want to see a bunch of, you know, different shows that you like and figure out what you're in the mood for from there? It's a lot harder to browse than it should be. Now, I've got two solutions for that. Um, one's involving Notepad and one is involving Apple Shortcuts. Uh, so let's start with Notepad. And what we're going to do is basically build kind of a list of shows um, with links in there to the shows. So the first show that we'll start with is Strombo since we're already on his page. If you click on the three dots up here, you can share that show. We'll click on that, and then we're going to click on copy right here, and then we'll head over to the notes app to take the next step. Okay, now that we've got a notepad open here, what I'm going to do is just type in the name of the show, or I could actually title this whole note. We could say Apple Music Shows. I'm pretty sure I have one of my own, but um, and then here we'll do kind of individual ones. So we'll do Strombo. And then all we have to do is paste that link that we just put in there. So there's that um, that link right there. And then let's add one more. I'll head back into the Apple Music app. And I will search for Alt Control. The other one I like quite a bit. Go to this radio show, click on there. And again, I'll click Copy. Open up the Notes app, come down here, and type in Alt Control, and then paste it. So now, if you want to head to a show, all you have to do is open up this note. Um, you can click on the link, and it'll pull you right into the show. So if you had a list of 10 shows in there that you liked, much easier to get to than here, where for some reason you can't pin and just have episodes of your favorite shows. I just It's such an under developed function on Apple Music, but this is about as close as we can get using the Notes app. Uh, now there is another way to do it too, um, as the Notes app isn't super elegant. Enter Apple Shortcuts. Apple has a ton of really powerful shortcuts and automations uh, that you can do using this app. So leverage, let's leverage it here to make the music show experience even better than, than using the Notes app. 
to get started, what we're going to do is add a new shortcut with this plus button right here. And we are going to add an action. Um, click on scripting. And we're going to choose the choose from menu option right here. Because what we're going to want is a menu of shows to be able to listen to. Um, now you, what you can do is quickly rip through the menu choices before going into the action choices, meaning we can set up what the options are before going in and you know actually making it do something if we have those options. So for the prompt, we'll say like, which show, question mark, question mark. Um, we'll kind of stick to the same list we just did. So we'll do Strombo and Alt-Control. So now you can see um, we typed in this and then down here it adjusted. So these, after each one of these is going to be where you can put in the actions based on selection up here. Um, so what we're going to do in order to kind of take it to the next step, we will give the app something to do when we click on them. So we're going to click on um, here. We're going to search for Safari. And open URLs and then down here it's going to say open menu result. Uh, we're going to change that and we're going to clear that variable. Now what we need to do is get the URL again from those shows. We've already got one pasted so I'm just going to, or copied, I'm going to paste it in here. That's all control radio. And so now this is going to be dragged up under alt control. So now when this, when we run the shortcut, we'll be able to click on all control and it'll just open this immediately into there. So let's go get Strombo real quick. Um, and I already have that open. So we'll get that link and click on copy here. And then we will add another um, open URL. Click on here, delete, clear this variable and paste in that URL enter and then drag this up under strombo okay up here we will call this apple music radio shows and um, we can click on the share icon right here which will bring up some options right here and one thing that you can do is you can just add this right to your home screen so if you click on add to home screen um, kind of cuts off just because of how much is there so let's just call it uh, radio shows uh, you can also choose which icon you want. Um, that actually has to be done right before. I'll show you how to do that real quick, actually. So if we click on here, we can change the, I don't know why that went away. It doesn't like that right now. So <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that, but that's how you can change this to like a play button or some kind of a music symbol up there. And we'll add this to home screen, call it radio shows click add and then now this will be on the home screen and i'm not going to do that just in case i'm not sure what i have on there that might be privacy stuff but uh, i'll click on what it looks like right here and so it's going to ask which show let's do alt control since that's not the one that's already up first time you do it you're going to need to click on allow and that's going to pull us right into the alt control radio here Finally, for all the hardcore music nerds out there like me, let's take a quick look at scrobbling music to Last.fm when you're listening to a radio show. This is something that I only know Marvis Pro being able to do uh, because when you listen to a show, Apple Music doesn't store any record of the individual songs that were played. So what we need to do is manually tell Last.fm that we listen to those songs. In order to do this, um, let's get a show going on here. I'm not going to have any music actually playing in the background because of YouTube issues. So if I go ahead and get this show going, let's fast forward to a song. All right. So now ordinarily, this song wouldn't scrabble to my last FM, but because I, for some reason, am completely obsessed and want all of it to, um, what I'm going to do is go into Marvis, open up Marvis which we'll switch over and now it's tracking the radio show at the same time you can see it's kind of strange because it it can't tell that there's an end to the song just because it's a radio show and it's not showing specific times for songs um, but to get this scrabbled over last fm is super easy um, you can either click on the three dots here i have it set up so you can just click on the song title and you just click on this scrabble button right here you can choose the time. So if you forgot to do it or something like that, you could do it earlier. I don't care that much. I'm darn close, but 
Um, and then you just click on the Scrabble button right here, which will go ahead and transmit that over to your last FM uh, page and be able to track that for you. So it won't affect any internal play counts, so just keep that in mind. Um, but it's one way to track your music. And for me, Last.fm is more accurate anyway, since I've bounced between a few mu music services. And that's all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I've had some great questions in the comments, so please let me know if you run into anything. Or even if you have any really cool setups yourself, I'd love to see what other people out there are doing. And if you write it out, I can probably put together a video on it to help others feel the same joy that you are at connecting with your music. But otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your week, and thanks so much for watching.